I think that the health of a community is dependent upon the individuals in that community being healthy. And I think that ignoring that, pretending that mental health is something that we can deal with sporadically or just once in a while is incredibly foolish. I think it leaves all of us very open to not, not just attack but to sorrow. Very often what students want more than anything, and that, that was what Sung Wee Cho wanted to some extent, was someone to sit and actually listen to him. That's not to say that that was enough. Clearly it wasn't. Um, he also was in desperate need of help. Um, and uh, I think that one of the things that teachers and parents and others need to be able to do is to recognize when they're in deep water and they really need someone to come and help them to be able to communicate with a student who may be in trouble or a child who may be in trouble. I think we all have stories and that sometimes we forget that the young people in particular have stories that are urgent. I think that when we're younger there's, a, there's more at stake because we're so desperate to make of ourselves something. And uh, so I think that if you work a long time, and I've worked for 30 years with young people, then you start to understand just how urgent their need is and how much they need to say to you. And the main thing you have to be able to do, I think, is, is listen. And then know when you need to seek help if someone is in trouble.